Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm back with uh, some makeup that I got and I did a first impression on, and now I'm coming back to do a couple more looks before I do a full review. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. And I do have a couple of new products as well. So I started with the Glow Oil by Supergoop and the SPF 50. And then I went ahead and used the Hard Candy Glow Serum Primer. And so this one uh, I think works really well. It gives me a little bit of bronzy look and um, I like the smell. It smells kind of like candy. Um, sweet tarts actually to be precise. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for uh, let's see the foundation that's actually going to be my new product and this is the AOA air cream foundation I got mine in shade 2 and so this is the way that it looks um, it actually is a balm it's very thick and in the weather that I'm in and I'm still in spring weather and it's cold out uh, this actually what I found was the best was going ahead and using a damp sponge to go ahead and apply that that's the way that I've done it this morning and um, I think actually it's working a lot better for me and uh, I'm actually well on this product I'm still out of first impressions but I was pretty impressed uh, by the way that it actually went on with the sponge and I'm also using the L'Oreal True Match and today I have LN so LN1 yeah and um, so that's what I have on there and I did try to go more of a not really yellow because I can't go really yellow um, it'll just look strange on me but um, I'm definitely not going with the cool foundation a foundation based in pink because um, everything that I wanted today or do today was more along the earthy colors so that's kind of why I went there and I had the Essence Thick and Wow and Caramel Blonde on I did pick up the Rare Beauty this is the Hope shade and so this is what I have on as far as um, yeah my uh, blush today and let's see what else did I do I did the uh, Revlon the Daybreak highlighter in the 201 and so that's what I have on as the highlighter uh, let's see what else did I do um, I did use one of the NYX as far as yeah the lightest one so this is the butter buttermilk bronzer and this one is in buttercup and I think it actually kind of goes peachy on me so this is the lightest one that they have and that's kind of the look that I get from it and so I definitely feel that it's peachy and like I said I'm going to pick up one of the darker shades um, the two lightest shades that I have this one goes peachy the other one has a little bit more red I'm thinking some of the darker colors have uh, some of the purple and pink and I'm kind of wanting to go ahead and uh, get one of those and um, as far as what else I've done today um, I did go ahead and use hard candy sun kissed gloss and um, oh, I already put it back <laughs> the Maybelline this is their super stay matte ink in shade 70 so that's what I have on there did go ahead and use a new palette that I just got from Alter Ego. This is the Wildwood palette, and um, I've done a first impression, but I've only done one look with it, so this was coming back and doing a second look with it. Uh, this is actually based off of the Natasha Denona uh, Yucca palette, which came out last summer. As far as what I did here, um, I went ahead and used this shade in the outer corner and then went ahead and used this shade in the crease uh, this one actually in the outer corner as well and this shade on the inner corner I did go ahead and use uh, this one as an eyeliner actually I used these two shades right there as an eyeliner and I put this one on the front of um, yeah um, on the inner corner about halfway and then I took the green halfway all the way out uh, this is how the look came out 
So lots of micro shimmers in uh, this formula. I'm really liking it. Um, I think it's beautiful with uh, the yellows and the greens. A whole bunch of the uh, multi-chrome shimmers up here have yellow and green. And uh, like this one has a little bit more brown in it, so it's really pretty. Um, I've had really good luck with their formula. Once again, uh, it blends really easy, really pigmented. And I think they went up a notch, and they really went in and did some really good multi-chrome. So, yeah, so far with this palette, I've been nothing but happy. And I'm really happy to have the color story because I don't think that it's a color story that you see a lot. And so, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with this palette right now. Um, other than that, I think I used the Glowish powder for my finishing powder, and I used the one in Fairlight. Yeah, so this is actually shade two, so fair light. And uh, the Milani Make It Last Dewy as far as my setting spray. And that's the look. Um, I think I might actually th throw a little bit of pink on here just because this is going so dark. And so, hold on just one second. Well, I'll write it down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I still think that this just went a little bit too dark for what I was trying to do. I guess I should have gone more with the peach. But um, that's a video. That's the look. Uh, like I said, I haven't found any of my new products that I'm going, nope, that just isn't working. Uh, most of the new products that I'm working with right now are really doing well for me. And uh, so I think that that's uh, the video, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.